Right, today we are going to do a fantastic little duck dish using this fantastic wild mallard. And basically we are going to roast this off first, then we're going to finish it off with a sauce made of chicken stock, brandy and these two star ingredients. They're uh, blackberries they are. I mean obviously it's January here, there isn't any about so these are actually frozen but they're just as good and then what I've got there is uh, one cup beetroot which I've grated and that's a great combination will go with that lovely duck but first of all we are going to roast this duck off and we're only going to use the crown so I've preheated my oven to gas mark 8 as per usual look up there you'll see it so all I'm going to do is following that natural seam there as you can see perfect take those little legs off, snap them out their joints, put them to one side. Now you can use these for another dish, you know, or use them if you were making say a terrine or a pate or you know just put them in the stock pot. So there's that. Just see there, you can tell this is wild game. Just come out one little shot. Beautiful. So We've got our duck crown. I'm just going to put a bit of oil on, only for the seasoning to stick. So we'll give that a rub on. Just going to put it in there. If it'll stay, stay there. And then some pepper on. Plenty of pepper on. And then some salt. Right. That goes in a hot oven, preheated, gas mark 8, for 20 minutes. We'll check it after 15 and see how we're getting on. So after 20 minutes then, duck duck should look like that. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? Look at the skin, crisped up, fantastic that is. Love it, I absolutely love it. So what we're going to do, get it on the flame and we're going to flambe this bad boy. I love a bit of uh, flambe action. So get the old brandy, give it one, two, excuse me, move that on there, give it a heat up, let that just warm up a minute, come in for this, I love this, beautiful, fire, do do do, take you to burn, love it. And once that flame goes out, obviously you, we've burnt off that alcohol. We're going to take that duck off there and we're going to start making that fantastic sauce using that lovely beetroot and those blackberries. Burn my little beauty. So, that's been flamed. I'm going to put that onto a heated plate. We shall rest that and we'll get on making that sauce. So, that pan. I've got 300ml of chicken stock here and all those juices on the bottom is flavour. So we want that. So we're going to bring it up to a boil and obviously we're going to scrape very gently all those lovely bits of duck gold off the bottom of there. I shall bring that up to the boil and I want to reduce that by about half so we get a nice thick rich concentrated sauce. And what we do, we'll put in our blackberries, our grated beetroot, tablespoon of red currant jelly, you can also use apple jelly. We're going to carve the breast off the bone into slices, put it on a plate and serve it up. So as you can see, I'll show you, I've just boiled that down really hard, reduced it by half and as you can see all those lovely bits that were on the bottom, clean as a whistle. That was all flavour. So, into that I'm going to add some of this beetroot, it's a really loaded teaspoon full, I'm going to add, get quite a few of these bad boys in, some of them lovely blackberries and then just a teaspoon of this red colour currant jelly, we'll get that in. And I shall bring that up to the boil and then turn it down, we'll simmer it, check the seasoning carve them breasts off and then plate up. That, it really tastes 
amazing. Doesn't need any pepper. Just gonna give it a bit of salt. And in the meantime, I think we shall carve the breasts off that duck. Right, that sauce is warming through nicely. Here's my a ducky duck. Obviously, you don't waste anything. Let's carve these off. Find that breastbone. Down one side to the other side while I'm here, actually. Go for that wishbone. Still hot. Oh, it's hot. Things we do for food. Just gently carve it off. One breast. And there's the other breast. I mean, you could smash that up now and just warm it through, you know, to put a bit more flavour in. But, you know, it's nice and thick. That sauce is ready to go. So we better have a look at this. Now, this has been cooked a bit longer than normal. So it's going to be a bit more on the done side. Let's try a bit. I just nipped a bit and it's amazing that skin. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh. Right. I'll get my plate ready and we'll plate up. Right, let's go for a bit of an 80s vibe on this plate now. This lovely, lovely, thick sauce. Just look at the colours against that white plate. A bit more of the sauce, I think. I mean, I'd be inclined to serve this with just some game chips, which is just potatoes sliced thinly and then just fried in oil. Classic, classic accompaniment to game. Just build these back together, nice thin slices. I think we'll just turn a bit like that. And there you have my wild mallard with a blackberry and beetroot sauce. Okay, it's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Let's have a go. Let's take a piece of that duck. One of them blackberries. Some of that lovely brandy infused sauce and that beetroot. amazing and so so simple you saw we roasted that duck for 20 minutes but then within the minutes it rested 10 minutes we knocked up that lovely sauce so we're talking half hour 30 minutes and then you've got something like this fantastic with those blackberries mm. Anyway, thanks for watching. There's a noble thoughtful, if there ever was. Thanks for watching. See you again. Mm -hmm.